Hey guys, welcome to my channel Art and Craft by Padma Ji. This is a beautiful candle piece, candle stand I would say, which you can create at home. And the procedure is very, very simple. You can carry it as well as place it in any part of your house. So this is how it looks midway. So we take chalk powder and PVA glue that is Fevicol. We pour it in a container the amount that we wish to mix. We take a semi liquid PVA glue, mix it and create a paste out of it. It should not be too flowy. Here I have put a little bit of yellow color just to create some kind of a color in the paste which is not mandatory. So I am doing a bit of recycle. I have taken an old container, I would say a paint container, empty and I have placed on it a little bit of clay dough which I have created earlier and kept it safe. And you can see I have taken an old coffee cup, paper coffee cup and I have added to it. I am putting this paste around it so that it kind of you know, gets fixed. Guys, this is my way of doing. You can do it the way you feel like because I know all of you are creative. So let's see the process. So I'm just creating some kind of a heavy base because it's lightweight and uh, you can see how I'm placing small rolled up pieces of the clay and I'm just trying to create some kind of a you know um, height to it. I'm giving it height because it's very very small I feel. So you can also see me that I'm sort of placing uh, already, uh, you know, created flowers to it. Uh, after some time, I'll also show you how to create these flowers. But these were left over from my earlier project, so I thought I will just use them. So guys, you have already learned earlier how to make flowers and leaves. But those who are new to the channel, they can see me doing these leaves out of air dry clay this air dry clay is you know very easy to prepare at home in your studio and those who are new to the channel they can check my earlier videos and they can know how to prepare this air dry clay so this is the flower which I had created earlier you can see the process of making it it's very simple You just have to create this impression with the tool. It's a very pretty wild flower. So this is how you can create and keep a lot of them and you can use them for such projects. So guys, let's watch how I have created the top part of this candle stand. Guys, when you're using Fevicol, make sure the Fevicol is some kind of, you know, thicker, um, you know, consistency, not uh, flowy. Otherwise, these whatever pieces you are sticking on top will start, you know, coming off. If it's thick, then, you know, if you hold it for some time, it will stay and then it will dry up on its own. Otherwise, you'll have to keep tampering with it, keep holding it for quite some time. And that's quite... You know, it can become very irritating. So after preparing so many of these, you know, pieces, flowers as well as the leaves, it's very easy then, you know, to place them all around the way you wish to.
putting the leaves is a little you know it can be a little difficult to some but then you know you can just have patience and slowly start placing them here and there depending on how you wish to you know make it then let it dry uh, say for around 12 to 15 hours and once it's dry you can sort of you know create a you know the base for it the base which will actually support the weight of this art piece so i've you know used that paste with fevicol underneath and then i'm placing it on this play uh, clay dough and then you know trying to create some kind of a uh, heavier base for it to stand without toppling and then with a palette knife i am just trying to you know patch up the edges and then with a little bit more thicker paste i am going to again you know uh, some kind of you know, create texture on it to make it more stronger and easier to hold to the textured um, piece because if you are carrying it in the house, you will need something to hold properly. So after it's dried up, say after two, three, four days, I waited. The weather is bad. It's very rainy in India. But then after it got dried, I thought I will start, you know, thinking of how to make the candle base now to place the candle. So for this, I took a an egg tray and I cut out one of the pieces you can see it and then I again use the texture paste to cover the paper part because this is out of paper it can burn easily so I have sort of you know tried to fix it after it is been uh, sort of laid with a base coat of air dry paste so you can see me as usual I have coated the entire piece with black acrylic paint after it got dried say after four to five hours I've used this camel uh, acrylic medium medium with gold dust and then I've created a, a semi liquid color Take an old brush and then you know you can slightly start touching it all over try to go only over it because the textural areas will take the shimmering color and for this you don't have to bother actually because it's very easy to dry brush all over the areas so guys you can see what we started with and how we are trying to finish it My whole idea was to some kind of create uh, one antique, uh, antique, uh, how to say, antique um, collection kind of craft piece. But then it turned up that it's not, I mean, I didn't like it much, but then yes, I wanted to sort of complete this project and uh, what I'm not liking it maybe some of you may like it it's a little you know glittery a bit of you know shiny uh, look it has got and I'm not very fond of it but then because I had gold dust and I thought okay let's see how it looks and I think it's okay I think maybe over the time this gold will sort of become more subtle. A bit of cracks I can see now, but then it's okay, it's underneath. But then it's very strong, guys. It will not break, even if it falls. It's that strong. So, guys, it is ready. And here we have a tea light candle. And there it goes. I have a very beautiful golden color candle stand. Guys, I just kept it in the dark just to see how it looks. It 
doesn't look that great but yes with a little bit of light around it looks really good guys thank you for stopping by and those who are new to the channel please subscribe and thank you again do like my channel subscribe please bye bye thank you